In chemistry, we look at the properties of different types of matter. In this video, we will explore the two main types of matter, pure substances and mixtures. Pure substances can be broken down further into elements and compounds, while mixtures may be classified as homogeneous or heterogeneous. As you can see, there's a lot to go through, and a solid understanding of matter matters. Firstly, how do we define matter? Matter is a substance that has mass and occupies a given volume. Now, imagine that it's the summer holidays again. You're lying on a beach and you see a ship approaching in the distance. Ahoy! It's a pirate ship. It probably weighs several tons. The ship creates waves as it sails, displacing huge volumes of water. The pirate ship is clearly made of matter, as it has mass and volume. Matter can exist as a pure substance or a mixture, depending on its composition, or in other words, depending on what it's made of. Let's have a look at pure substances. Pure substances consist of matter that has the same type and distribution of particles throughout, and a definite, fixed composition. In other words, pure substances can be physically broken up into identical products. Pure substances can be composed entirely of a single element, such as those found in the periodic table, or a compound in which two or more elements have been chemically combined. For example, let's look inside the treasure chests stowed in the pirate ship. They're full of gold coins. The gold coins are pure substances because they're made entirely of a single element, gold. Even if the gold coins were broken in half, both chunks would still be made of pure gold. In other words, gold coins can be physically separated into identical products. Let's also consider the sand on the shore. Sand usually consists of silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide is a compound made from silicon atoms and oxygen atoms that are chemically bonded together. Like gold coins, sand is a pure substance. If we could break a sand particle apart, we would see that both chunks consist of pure silicon dioxide. Therefore, sand is a pure substance because it forms identical products upon separation. The silicon and oxygen atoms are distributed in the same way throughout an entire sand particle, resulting in a definite, fixed composition. Matter can also exist in the form of mixtures. As scientists, we define mixtures as two or more substances that have been physically, and not chemically, combined. That is, there are no chemical bonds linking the pure substances in a mixture. Mixtures may contain combinations of gases, liquids and solids that can be separated through physical means. Let's consider a mixture of pure substances that we've already discussed, gold coins and sand, which are two solids of different sizes. A pirate, Blackbeard, is walking onto shore with a heavy trunk of gold coins. He's off to bury his treasure. He digs a hole in the sand and fills it with gold coins. Before he leaves, Blackbeard covers the hole with sand and marks it with a cross. The hole contains two pure substances that have been physically combined by Blackbeard. Therefore, the gold coins and sand form a mixture. In the HSC, you will be required to draw models of different mixtures. The pure substances in this mixture differ in size, so your model would show larger particles of gold mixed with smaller particles of sand. Like all mixtures, gold coins and sand can be physically separated. If Blackbeard wanted to collect his gold coins, he could sieve the mixture. 
Sieving is a separation technique where particles are separated by size. We'll discuss this in our upcoming video on separation techniques, part one. Blackbeard might use a sieve that has holes smaller than the gold coins, but bigger than the sand particles. That way, the gold coins would collect in his sieve and the sand would fall to the ground. Of course, that is if Blackbeard remembers where he buried his treasure. A knowledge of mixtures isn't just useful for pirates. It's also useful when you conduct experiments at school or even at home. Let's look at a sample question. Classify the following as pure substances or mixtures. If it is a mixture, identify each component. Pause here to think about your answer. Let's see what the answers are. A bottle of white vinegar contains liquid water and aqueous acetic acid. Therefore, white vinegar is a mixture. Sodium bicarbonate and baking soda are household names for sodium hydrogen carbonate. This is a solid compound so it is made from several elements chemically combined. Therefore, sodium bicarbonate powder is a pure substance. A room full of fresh air contains different gases, including nitrogen, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Therefore, fresh air is a mixture. A lava lamp contains two liquids, water and melted wax. Therefore, a lava lamp contains a mixture. Let's revise what we have learned about pure substances and mixtures in today's lesson. In the HSC chemistry course, you will often be asked to classify different types of matter. The key points of this video are the definitions, which should be memorised. Firstly, matter is any substance that has mass and occupies a given volume. Pure substances consist of matter that has the same type and distribution of particles throughout and a definite fixed composition. Pure substances are composed entirely of a single element, such as those found in the periodic table or compound in which two or more elements have been chemically combined. Finally, mixtures are composed of two or more substances that have been physically combined and can be separated through physical means. We hope you enjoyed this Schooling Online production. For more easy lessons on chemistry, check out our video on homogeneous and heterogeneous mixtures.